Hey guys, this is Comic Inno, and today I'm doing a New York Comic Con haul. So let's get started. Now, this probably will be my only haul video. A lot of the other days I'm covering panels or doing press rooms, so I will not have a chance to go to the floor like I did today. I, I was covering panels today too, but had a little bit more time to shop. So let's dig into this haul. Uh, this haul. So first up, I'm going to show you the variant covers I got. Uh, DC had a couple of those silver variants, and I'm going to show you guys that. Got the Justice League silver variant of Justice League of America. I think these are all the most recent issues. Got Batman issue 32, silver variant of Ben Affleck. Then, of course, Wonder Woman issue 31 with Gail Godot. Got Jason Momoa for Aquaman, issue 28. Then I, I love this comic this week, so I definitely need to get the silver one of this, and that is Batman White Knight, issue 1. Uh, some other variants I got. Got the Archies, issue 1. So this is the New York Comic Con edition. Have not gotten a chance to read that issue yet, though. Alright, and then of course I always try to get some Power Rangers stuff at a con, and first is this beautiful, uh, really realistic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers variant cover. I believe this is at stores in some places. Uh, it was an exclusive New York Comic Con, but they were limited. And I love these locker variants, and I have not been able to see them since San Diego, so I wanted to collect them all. I have the Jason one, but now I got the Trini one, and the Zack one. So now I just need to get Billy and um, Kimberly, and I, I would love to get Kimberly, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to get that as those issues go out. Uh, other things I got, those are the variant covers I got. Uh, I found this artist on Twitter, and uh, I saw her do this Spider-Woman Archie-style comic. Sadly, that was already sold, and it was Thursday, so it sold pretty quickly, but I did get one of her comics called Eerie Cuties. I just thought the artwork was really fun, so I wanted to try that one out. Very Archie style. Uh, now, other comics I'm trying out here, I did go to the Aftershock booth, and I've heard so many great things about Black Eyed Kids, and it was signed. So I got the Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Black Eyed Kids, and I've, I've been loving a lot of the Aftershock books. And then another book, I think probably one of the, the most popular uh, Aftershock books, even as a spin-off series, is Am Animosity. Now, uh, this came out before I was getting into the Aftershock book, so glad to put this one on my pull list and, and try out these trades. Now, here are some posters I got. Now, I pre-ordered, because issue 25 Spider-Gwen did not come out yet, uh, this variant of Spider-Gwen. So they gave me a poster of it, and... It is this variant. It's just so gorgeous. And I got the other one where she's not wearing a mask, or like half not wearing a mask, because there's three. One that she's totally maskless and she's just wearing the suit. This one, and then like half not wearing a mask, and those are the two I got. So that was very cool, and you know, I, my Spider-Gwen fandom, I had to get it. Uh, other thing I bought in Artist Alley was the Spider-Man print and of course Mayday was in the background so I'm like I gotta get this. Now this is the artist who's currently doing Ben Riley and did Spider-Man 2099. Now I'm getting into some free posters which one might be replacing the Arrow poster in, in some shape or form. I gotta see where I could put it but that is Runaways. Gorgeous poster. I'm so stoked for the show. Hopefully I'll be able to get to see the panel tomorrow. I'm going to line up pretty early for that one. And then other Marvel posters, and this one's slipping. I'm going to have to put this somewhere else. All right, I'm going to put this here for now. Uh, other Marvel posters, I got Cloak and Dagger from the new, the new show on Freeform. I'm surprised that they don't have anything for Cloak and Dagger panel-wise. I was surprised by that. And, of course, we got Jessica Jones, Season 2. Very excited for that one. I'm, I'm proud of myself for how well I kept these posters throughout the day. Very proud. Uh, and then also I got a Sailor Moon Crystal poster for free. Honestly, pretty good quality. Alright, last but not least, I got a couple of statues for myself. Uh, so, number one is Wonder Girl. 
Cassie Sandsmark. I don't get to talk about her character enough because first of all she's not around and when she was around in New 52 she was not Cassie but uh, I love this character definitely um, you know part of my Teen Titans I love this character for a very long time so excited to get this one next up is the exclusive uh, Kotopachia statue which I thought was just really awesome and that is Spider-Man Winter Clothes version that was pretty cool I like that so got that and last but not least and it's in the bag is Jane Foster Thor. I've been having my eye on this one for a long time. And uh, her head is interchangeable. So at first I'm like, is that Jane? Because we never really seen Jane without a helmet. Uh, so it is Jane, obviously. So I definitely grabbed that one. That's the, the bigger one. So that is my haul for pretty much New York Comic Con. Again, I did pretty much all my shopping today. Uh, I will have a lot of panel coverage tomorrow, so check out my Twitter. I'll hopefully be live blogging a panel with, for Newsarama also tomorrow, so I'll uh, keep you guys updated on Twitter for that. Uh, and that is about it, so thank you guys, and this was Comic Uno. Stay tuned for more New York Comic Con, uh, New York Comic -Con coverage on this channel. Uh, like I said, hopefully some runaway stuff. I'm uh, gonna try to go see Hey Arnold tomorrow, Spider-Man panel, and if I can, the DC Dooms Clock panel. All depends on waiting on lines. But let me know if you are at New York Comic Con and what you would like to see from my coverage. Uh, so that's tomorrow's plan. But thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.